Axel and close that shutter before they can get through. Commencing shutdown. Deal with Archangel. Taking cover. Sit down. Enjoy. Enemy charge combat. Problematic.
power they got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. Still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Get your head down! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. I fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Lock and load. I've got no shield. Got target. Wish I were standing downwind. Simple enough. Killed that one. Yeah. <laughs> 
getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Mm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot. Not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I know exactly what you mean. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. What did your Merc Squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but... with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. And it was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. 
shows what I know. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Reading message from Nala Butler. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus's squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus's fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please, don't tell him that I sent you this. Thank you. Nala Butler. Shepard, we were given access to an old video call between Castus Vicarian and Alec Ryder from the Andromeda Initiative. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But... Privately, I've heard they're starting to wander. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly, the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you, and then Seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. 
Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. You were actually the Alliance poster boy, and they still dumped you. I don't like it, but I can see benefit in keeping some things from the public. Maybe. And Cerberus isn't exactly transparent, either. Where's an honest soldier go, Shepard? Right here? I guess so. Glad I'm not in your chair, though. Gonna be a rough ride. I should get back to work. Good talking to you, Shepard. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back! That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spread it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Reading message from Dr. Chloe Michel. Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear of the destruction of the Normandy, and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend upon both of you. Is Garrus with you again, by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the comm address I had for him works anymore, because he hasn't returned any calls. Always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. Thanks. Chloe Michel. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. 
I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. This mission takes me back. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA couplings we mentioned, we are doing fine. I bet you could find them in the Omega markets if you wanted to help us out. Anything else? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Another colony's gone missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. 